What's the most important thing, Emma, I'm going to ask you first, what's the most important lesson you think um, that, about motherhood that you learned from your mother? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Um, I remember when both my kids were young, I remember mom specifically saying to me, you know, just, just be patient because just when you get to that moment where you think, I am not going to be able to survive another sleepless night or I'm not going to be able to survive this particular developmental stage. Just when you think you can't go another day, it will change and move on to the next thing. And it always did. She was so right about that. It always, you know, just when you thought, oh my God, I'll never survive this moment. <laughs> they were out of it and on to the next thing, you know. Oh, well, Julie, um, we learn a lot from our kids too. I know I do, even from my four five, and five year old. Always. And they yeah. fill in all the gaps that didn't make sense when you were a kid, don't they? Wow, that's a really great way to put it. I've never thought of it that way. Uh, well, what's a lesson that you feel like you've learned from Emma? So many things. I mean, more love than you can imagine. I mean, I love my kids and I didn't particularly when I was uh, pregnant and things, I, I didn't think that I loved kids that much. It's a great gift in every yeah. way. Yeah. I feel like I'm the same way. I was, my mom is still surprised that I'm married with children. Kelly, you have to mention the other three and what their names are, please. Oh, yes. Oh, I will totally do that. I have it right here. And you know what? That's actually important. What do you mean I have it right here? You don't remember that? I Wait, I you have the names written down or something. Oh, no, your kids, Kelly, your kids. Oh, I thought you were talking about yours. I was like, oh, my no, God. No, 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 I'm asking you. Oh, no, I was like, I was like, I was about to tell you, it's actually really important for me that every time I do an interview, everybody always says, oh, you have two children. And I'm like, no, we have four. I've been in their lives for eight years and we're blended. So we, Savannah's our 18 year old. She's actually an equestrian. She does eventing um, and she's amazing. She's actually number one in her division in the country. So she's amazing. Oh. Um, and then we have our 13 year old Seth. He's awesome. Um, he's our little gamer and he like does 3D stings and he, he um, he just creates. He's a really creative kid, and um, oh, wow. and he's actually been my teleprompter guy for this whole pandemic. While I'm there, you are. You see, like Sam is here helping me. Yeah. You're working Sam, and I'm working Seth. Both yeah. biblical names as well. Um, <laughs> and the other one, Trevor and Remington. Those are the tiny ones, and they're driving me nuts. So I could use that patience talk right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say I'm like you though I didn't want kids I, I didn't think I'd ever have kids and then once you do you're right Julie like once you do it teaches you an amazing amount of selflessness yes. you know I didn't realize how selfish I was and the I well spring of love that comes up and out yeah. of you I mean I now I now know why people say I would um, you know um, get in front of a, a machine gun if, my, if it saved my kids and I would yeah. I would do anything for my kids. Yeah, no, I, I am definitely that. And we do learn from them every day. It's funny, you learn, I think, more about yourself and how you act around them. And you're like, mm, I could maybe work on that. Um. <laughs> subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.